Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a long-awaited, much-requested addition to Reason with version 9.5. Let's get started. Today we're checking out version 9.5 of Propellerhead Software's Reason music creation software. There's a huge addition to this version of Reason, and that's support for VST instruments and effects. Reason on its own, of course, is incredibly powerful. Instruments, processors, music creation devices, a mixer, all kinds of capabilities are built right into the software. But now you can extend that with VST instruments and effects, and there are thousands of those available on the market, so we've really broadened the capabilities of the software. The nice thing is that VSTs are incorporated into Reason exactly the same way that Reason's own devices are incorporated. Let's take a look at how it works. So we access VST instrument and effects through the browser, just like any other device. If we select instruments, we can scroll down, and our VSTs begin to appear here. Now they have generic icons, but we can change that later. I'll give you a tip on how to make that happen. Let's select Absinthe 5 from Native Instruments. Grab that, drag it into our rack, and the host device opens up here, and our VST is accessible here in this window. We simply click, and it'll open right up. It's very easy to change the icon from the generic VST symbol to a specific symbol for each instrument in effect, and you do that by taking a screenshot. Once you do, if we go back over here and scroll down, you'll see that Absinthe now has an icon that represents the instrument, and it also shows up here in the window for Absinthe 5. And once the VST instrument is in the rack, we can play it like any other instrument inside of Propellerhead Reason. There are two ways we can select presets inside of VST instruments. Right here inside the host device, there's a preset section, and many VST instruments will support that. If not, as in Absinthe 5, we can click right on the device window, it'll open up, and we can choose our presets as you normally would inside that instrument. So let's scroll down here and choose this one. And once that's loaded up... So let's record a quick passage using Absinthe, and then we'll show you how some of the other processors work. So we'll turn our click on, set our pre-count, and hit record. Once we have our track recorded, we can apply any of Reason's processors and devices, or we could add other VST effects as well. So let's go over here to the Players menu. We'll choose Node Echo, drag that on top of Absinthe, and now our Node Echo is here, and we'll load a preset for double octave down. Rewind, and play that back. In the same way, we can apply VST processing. So let's go to our effects inside the browser, and we will scroll down here to say uh, Fab Filters Pro R. We'll drag that below. Absinthe will automatically be routed through the reverb. We can open that up, take a screenshot, and once again now when we go to our effects and we scroll down, Our screenshot has been applied here, as well as in the device window. We can also automate parameters within our VST devices, either by using the CV control in the back, or by actually automating the parameter itself. So if we click on the Pro R window and open this up, let's move it over a little bit so we can see our record button, click our automate, we'll choose a parameter, space in this case, we'll rewind, hit record. <laughs> In the same way, we can automate a second parameter. We'll choose Mix this time. Now when we play back, and both of our parameters are automated. Now we could choose to go right into Reason and draw our automation right into an automation lane. That's a very accurate way to do it. Or if our controller had knobs, we could actually play the automation in and just record that right into Reason as the track is playing back. As I mentioned, VST encompasses a broad range of plugins. So if we close this, we have everything from lighting controllers, DMXs, for example. Double click that, we can open it up. 
There's even support for UAD plugins running on an Apollo or a UAD DSP processor from Universal Audio. If we go to our effects and we scroll down, we can see, for example, our VST effects running on the UAD processor. We can take our screenshot and that will show right up inside our effects window. The addition of VST support in Reason 9.5 is a huge step forward for this software. You now have access to a whole universe of effects and instruments that you can apply for creating music inside this already powerful software. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Music